There's a rumor that a clown once filled a car with balloons, and when the car accidentally crashed into a wall, the clown, who wasn't wearing a seatbelt, survived thanks to the cushioning from the balloons. To put this myth to the test, the team planned to drop a car from a height to simulate the impact of hitting a wall. They placed crash test dummies in the driver's and passenger's seats, each equipped with accelerometers to measure the G-forces experienced during the collision. For the first baseline test, the driver dummy was buckled in, while the passenger dummy wasn't. There there were no balloons in the car. The vehicle was dropped from a height of 40 feet, roughly the same as crashing into a wall at 35 miles per hour. Even with a seatbelt, the driver experienced an impact of 150 Gs. The unbelted passenger, however, was subjected to a far more severe and likely fatal force. Next, they brought in a second car and set up everything the same as in the baseline test, except this time, the car was filled with dozens of balloons. They placed multiple layers of balloons around the passenger dummy for extra protection. Despite that, the force the passenger endured still exceeded the human body's survivable limit. They tried several variations using different arrangements and types of balloons, but none made a meaningful difference. In the end, the conclusion was clear. Balloons are no substitute for airbags. Myth busted.